this video, we're going to use substitution to find an indefinite integral with trigonometric functions. So let's evaluate the indefinite integral given below. And they give you the integral of 12x cubed cosecant to the fifth x to the fourth cotangent x to the fourth dx. Now, like the previous video, I think it's hard sometimes to figure out what do I want to set u equal to. If I set u equal to x to the fourth, I would cancel this piece out, but I'd still have two different trig functions after I've taken the derivative and resubstituted. So I probably want to use one of these trig functions. And cosecant is the one that I'm going to use because if I use cotangent, I get negative cosecant squared. Well, negative cosecant squared is not going to cancel out uh, cosecant to the fifth. But if I use cosecant, I will cancel that cotangent. So that's kind of how I'm choosing that. So I'm going to say u is equal to cosecant of x to the fourth. So I would resubstitute, this is equal to, or I would substitute, this is equal to 12x cubed times, this would now be u to the fifth cotangent x to the fourth dx. And over here, I'm going to do the derivative. So I'm going to say u equals cosecant x to the fourth, derivative of u, so d over dx of u and d over dx of cosecant x to the fourth. Derivative of u would be du over dx is equal to derivative of cosecant. It's going to be negative cosecant x to the fourth cotangent x to the fourth times the derivative, because it's a chain rule, x to the fourth. So I get du over dx is equal to derivative of x to the fourth. That'd be 4x cubed. So I'd have negative 4x cubed. Uh, cosecant x to the fourth. Cotangent x to the fourth. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, multiply by dx. So I get du equals negative 4x cubed. Cosecant x to the fourth, cotangent x to the fourth, dx. And then I'll divide by this whole piece. I get du over negative four x cubed, cosecant x to the fourth, cotangent x to the fourth. That's equal to dx. Now I'm gonna substitute that in up here. I get equals the integral. This would be 12x cubed u to the fifth cotangent x to the fourth dx, oop, not dx, all over one times, and I'm going to substitute this in so I get du and then over negative 4x cubed cosecant x to the fourth, cotangent x to the fourth. Kind of running out of room there. You can see the cotangents would cancel. Um, the x cubes are going to cancel. I'll cancel the 12 and the negative 4, so that becomes 1. So this will just end up being, if I divide this by 12 divided by negative 4, I get negative 3. And let's see. Yes, that'll work. So I end up with, this is equal to integral negative 3 u to the fifth over cosecant x to the fourth. And then that's du. Now you might think we're screwed here because you're like, well, I, still, I have u to the fifth and I have cosecant in there. That's a problem. But we already know u is equal to cosecant x to the fourth, so we can resubstitute that in. So we get integral negative 3 u to the fifth over u du, which is going to equal integral negative 3 u to the fourth du. So I can now say that that's equal to, if I take the antiderivative, I get uh, negative 3 
you add one to that, that's u to the fifth, uh, over five, plus c. So I'm gonna end up with negative three fifths. Resubstitute u, u was cosecant, x to the fourth, to the fifth power, plus c. So that is going to be negative three fifths, cosecant to the fifth, x to the fourth, plus c. And that is our solution to the indefinite integral.